I'm Logan Staley, Marketing Director for Staley West. Uh, we own a little farm uh, just west of Cedar City and we've been making some really nice grass hay uh, for a local feed store and they have just loved the hay that we've been making and they told us a few weeks ago if we could just have that steamed hay in alfalfa. A lot of people say, oh man, I love this. I love this steam hay or I love this grass hay. This is awesome stuff. And after this, after we've had such a good kind of uh, push for the grass hay, interest in the grass hay that's been steamed, and our thought was, well, let's get some small alfalfa bales here in the store and see how it sells. And so we picked up uh, 500 bales or so just barely and and we'll start carrying that in the store and see how it goes i think it's i think it's going to do really well so we talked to a local farmer here in cedar city that had some really nice alfalfa hay and he let us bail some of his hay up for the local feed store so we came out yesterday we bailed some hay it was 4 30 in the afternoon it was 87 degrees outside and it was it was quite windy it's amazing what you can do with the steamer in those kind of conditions You're not only going to be able to make this hay during your perfect natural dew conditions, you can make this hay all day and all night. Okay, let's cut open this bell and just see how it flakes and, and check out the leaf pattern here. We'll kind of flake it and just see how it holds together. One thing you notice with steamed hay is just how well it flakes and holds together. I can lift it up. Um, we're not going to lose any hay when we're flaking and feeding animals. And you can see the leaf pattern in that hay. It's just incredible uh, that this hay was made in such adverse conditions. We'll just keep flaking it here. It's just, you can kind of see the leaf pattern. I can lift it up, I can play with it, I can drop it on the ground and it's all gonna stick together. And it's still soft too. The animals are just gonna love this. So I have a, five-year-old boy who's raising some doggy lambs this year you know we just want to teach him some responsibility and we've been feeding the lambs steamed hay and he's such a small little guy that he has to um, pick up the hay he has to step up on a little stool that we have and then he has to drop the hay in the manger I was thinking the other day if this wasn't steamed hay there is no way that he would be able to pick up the hay, step up on the stool and drop it in the manger. It would all fall apart before he even got it over the fence. Okay. So this is a this is a steam hay bale that we made yesterday in the middle of the afternoon. We're going to take this we're gonna go swap this steam bell with the natural dew bell that they just barely made this morning. And then we're gonna come back and cut it open and compare. They won't even know. <laughs> Except, they won't even know, but someone's gonna get a really nice steam bell of hay. All right, here we go, Darren. Okay. It's a little longer, but it'll be okay. That's some pretty nice hay too. Here, let's put it. Hopefully they don't no notice the, the twine color. <laughs> okay. Throw this up here and we're gonna go cut this dew bell open. All right, we're gonna take this uh, natural dew hay. Like I mentioned, really good natural dew conditions this morning. We're gonna compare to our steamed hay that we made with our Dew Point 331 steamer in the middle of the day yesterday, hot, dry, windy conditions. This is the steamed hay I cut open earlier. And I'm gonna cut open this dew bell 
And this is all impromptu. This is spur of the moment. Cut the last string. All right, their bells are a little bit longer than ours, which is fine. Let's start flaking it. And this looks like really nice hay. So it's pretty nice hay. I can definitely tell it's not flaking as good as our steamed hay, but it flakes pretty good, pretty good leaf retention. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my steamed hay. You can get a close up of that. I'm gonna grab a dew flake. Okay, both very nice. Okay, Stay both leafy, that. but there is a difference. You can tell this one's a little tighter than this one. I can shake it. My boy, this is good hay. My boy would probably have a hard time feeding this because it does fall apart a little easier. Kind of breaks apart a little easier. This, if you want to feed your lambs a half a flake, check this out. Break it in half, drop it in. You can break it in half. That's what I do when my boy feeds his lambs. We just break the flakes like that. This kind of all fell apart, even though it's very leafy, nice hay. And this was belled, prime dew conditions in the morning. And like I said, this was belled in adverse dry afternoon conditions. So natural dew is great. You can make some great quality hay, but you're not always gonna get perfect natural dew conditions. This is the kind of hay you can make when the dew isn't right, or when you got rainstorms coming and you have to bell in the day. This is the kind of hay you can make. And honestly, the steamed hay in the middle of the day is just as good or better than what our neighbors were able to do with natural dew. You know, we went from selling probably 100 to 200 bales a month to selling like three to four to 500 bales a month of the steamed hay. Customers really loving the product and then they're telling their friends, their neighbors, people that they know that also have animals that are buying hay, you know, look, look at the quality difference between these two. Um, and we've just seen like a huge uptick in sales from the time that we were carrying non-steam to the time that we're carrying steam. Steamed hay, there is a, a big difference, a big quality difference. And I think that's what customers are looking for.